I know that was a discussion point prior to the conversations that ultimately ended with Mike Vrabel being fired, Judy, in terms of this is not Sean Payton a year ago. The Saints had their head coach and Dennis Allen. Sean Payton had sat out a year and Mickey Loomis basically just said, OK, here's the price. Anyone who's going to meet it, you can talk to Sean, figure it out. Ultimately, obviously, he ends up in Denver. But in this case, when she's referring to the Rooney Rule, you have to conduct two in-person interviews with external minority candidates. Those cannot happen if they're currently people who are employed with NFL teams for at least another 12 days here until January 22nd. They obviously were not willing to sit there and try to execute this and go through all the different logistics of it. Time will tell on whether or not that was the right move. What we do know is they let go a coach that is highly regarded in this league. Yeah, can I just start with a plea to owners, Amy Adams Strunk and other owners, um, when you're making these kind of seismic moves on your franchise to talk to people um, who you don't employ, go talk to your beat writers, answer questions. You own a team, it's a public trust. Answer questions from the public. Onward. Uh, she is right. Um, the the timeline that the league has set up for uh, interviews makes it very, very difficult to trade coaches. Also, she referenced this. I mean, people would have had to agree to trade him. That, so uh, I think we are going to see the end of the era of trading coaches. Um, they're very rare anyway. Now, on to Mike Vrabel. He's very respected. Um, there will be a considerable market for him. Um, and uh, as we have talked about, we talked about it yesterday. The first thing you have to do is keep an eye on what's happening in New England because he is very well regarded there from his years as a player. And he sat in the luxury suite with the Kraft family when he was honored by them during the season. So um, he will be somewhere if he wants to coach this season. He will be coaching somewhere this season. The, the question is where, and certainly as we wait for the decision in New England, that's the thing to keep an eye on. Which is why my understanding was uh, as Vrabel waited to learn his fate with Tennessee, he was having conversations with potential assistant coaches to bring them on to his staff. I mean, we knew he was going to likely have to make changes to his coaching staff if he was going to stay in Tennessee. And then if he winds up elsewhere, he's going to have to bring or put together a staff no matter where he goes. So Vrabel was having those conversations, which tells me uh, that he likely would not be like a number of coaches we've seen before, which is like, I need to take a year off. I need to, to, to take a rest. Mike Vrabel seems like he would like to jump back in if he gets the right opportunity from a head coaching standpoint uh, to continue in 2024 as a head coach somewhere, whether it winds up being in New England or wherever. But I, I just know that the reaction we've gotten from, or I've gotten, I won't speak for you guys, uh, from folks around the league and in coaching circles uh, is that this guy is going to be a highly sought after candidate, uh, not just by the New England Patriots. Yeah, I, I think that's right. And as the Patriots continue to wait, you really do wonder with so many other openings now, like does someone else kind of step in and say, actually, you're the guy we would like, uh, especially considering he is now not currently employed by an NFL team. But this was interesting for a couple of different reasons. Rand Carthon, the general manager, did give a press conference to his local beat writers yesterday and I think laid out, among other things, the relationship between him and Mike Vrabel. And there was sort of a narrative that he and Vrabel did not really get along. I, I never heard that to be true. Carthon saying publicly yesterday that was not true. And this was sort of, for whatever reasons, painted as a GM versus coach situation. I never felt like that was this. And to that end, it was not Rand Carthon who fired Mike Vrabel. In fact, I think if you would give him his choice, a lot of reasons why Vrabel would be a great head coach to move forward with. One of those reasons is he's very, very good. This was Amy Adams Strunk making the decision that based on a lot of things, including what happened when he went to uh, New England for the Hall of Fame thing, including not dispelling rumors in-house that he was going to be the Patriots coach. I mean, it is there was a lot there, and she clearly made the decision that she wanted to move on in the best interest of the organization. And now it is going to be Rand Carthon leading the search for a new leader of men. There were a lot of key words in that Amy Adams Strunk initial statement, collaboration and alignment. It's very clear that Amy Adams Strunk felt like, regardless of whether or not Brand Cartha and Mike Vrabel had any blowups, which I have no indication that they did, it was more so they weren't working in tandem. They weren't working as a team. That's going to be part of what they're seeking. This time is really just a different vibe around the entire organization.